hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so today's video i'm going to be sharing something that's been going around the, the social media recently and um, be, oh, actually before i actually go into this topic right um before i say anything else in today's video i want to say this for those people that would say mind your business da -da 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 -da, you can tell from the title what this video is about okay let me tell you any comment that says mind your business instant delete okay you have your chance now to leave you have your chance now to click out of this video if you're in a room and somebody's watching this video you have the chance now to leave the room go somewhere else you have the chance now to put some ear pods or some earphones or whatever you want to put in your ears put in your ears so you don't hear what i'm talking about let's be honest the truth is this you that you're coming here to come and listen to this video are you minding your business you are not minding your business because if you're minding your business you will not be watching this video so now mind your business and don't even watch this video at all don't even listen to what i'm saying go and put on nta and watch nta news are you listening go buy one kind chilled pure water sit in your own room face the wall and be drinking it that is the meaning of mind your business now the question is why do I make videos like this? I make videos like this because I want to make this lifestyle or this idea unattractive. No, actually, let, no, let's put it this way. I'm actually not the one making it unattractive. The truth is this. It is unattractive. My opinion, it is unattractive. These people will come on social media and show you the exciting sides and show you the, you know, they live in a mansion, um, they, 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 drive, they, they, they drive expensive cars, they fly in private jets and all of those things. They don't show you the unattractive side. A video like this is only to show you the unattractive side of it. That at the end of the day, you think it should be balanced. Your view of this kind of a thing should be balanced. That at the end of the day, you, if you decide to make a choice like this, at least you're going in knowing what is involved. You're not going to go in with the image you see of perfect people with money, living an amazing life, blah, 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 blah. That is what my video is about. Now, going back to what I want to talk about. So recently, there's been videos and posts and everything going around about um, um, Regina Daniels. Some of you may not know her. For, those, for anyone that does not know her, she's a Nigerian um, child actress. Well, she, she got married to a man that is, I think the man, the man is 60 and she is 20. 20 or 21 at this point. She married him when she was still, I think, 19. And that is not even the big deal because personally, I've said it that age gap marriage is not even that much of an issue for me, personally. The area that I want to address, the area that I personally try to discourage people from, our women from, our ladies from, is the idea of polygamy. You know, the idea of marrying a man that has other wives. It is that area that I like to talk about. So, this girl married to a man that, depending on who you're asking, the man has six other wives, seven other wives, whatever, but he, she's not the only wife, okay? I would rather marry a man that's 100 years older than me than marry a man that is marrying me and marrying somebody else. That's me. So recently, it was the birthday of one of the other wives, and uh, that went viral, and people are like, you know, how does it feel that this man is now celebrating this other woman, and you're kind of in the background? And uh, the people are comparing and contrasting. That's another area, the area of putting your life in people's faces, putting your life on social media. That's why people can get involved. They are not the only ones practicing polygamy in Nigeria. In as much as Nigerians are shifting away from polygamy and frowning at polygamy, there are a lot of people doing it in their own private lives, private homes, nobody knows. But these people, you know, this particular one is being blasted in the eyes of people. As much as they're going to have people that think that it's a good idea, there's going to be also people that think that it's not a good idea. So everybody have their opinions, you know. So people are already comparing and contrasting. Like when it was Regina Daniels' birthday, they said the man didn't even make any post about it on Instagram. While Regina Daniels was busy posting about it on her Instagram, the man did not post about it. People were blasting and blasting all day on his, at his Instagram. Are you not going to celebrate your wife's birthday, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, he made the post, I think like, I think they said he made a post like middle of the night and said happy birthday to her. And, and then we came to the one of the other wives. There's this girl that is African, Oyibo, meaning she's African white skin. She said to be Moroccan. A few days before her birthday, he made the post in which he said, Leila will be 30 years in a few days time. So he posted it even before the birthday came. It feels like yesterday. 
It has been 10 beautiful years. Amazing how she has matured over the years. So she was not matured when he married her because from this, it means he married her when she was 10 years, sorry, when she was 20 years old. But basically, it means he married them, married her when she was not matured because he said, amazing to see how she has matured over the years. He marries them very young. Anyways, and then he put a love heart. Do you know something I want to say about this love heart? You know, I've made a video where I said, how does a man like this tell one of the wives, I love you? How? Because he knows the other women are reading the post. So he put a love heart there. He did not say that word, I love you. I'll come back to that in a second. And then when the day finally came, he made another post in which he said, the day has finally come. It is indeed a milestone. I know it means a lot to you. I wish you the very best of the days and years ahead. As I always tell you, what we should celebrate is life. Every day that we wake up, we should thank God and celebrate. Have a wonderful day. On behalf of the entire family, listen to this. On behalf of the entire family, we love you. Did you see that? He avoided using the words, I love you, and said, we love you. You, you see what I'm trying to say? He can't post that I love you because... How do you go to the other woman after you told the other one I love you? And then there is a video of the Layla's birthday. And you can see how he's celebrating her birthday with her. She's dancing and you know, that is her day. Now, I don't know how they do their rasters, how they share him, who owns which day of the week because they say he has six wives or seven wives, whatever. So at least if he has seven wives, so every wife gets one day of the week. So it means that every wife will have only four days we get only four days of him in a month. Let that sink in. Anyways, so that was the Layla's birthday, the African Oyibo one. She was celebrating and doing all the dancing and all of that. And then Regina Daniels had to sit at the side. She had to sit at the side. How do you look at this man? Another thing, you know, when she makes posts and say, you know, all this post of my dear husband, my dear husband, how do you convince yourself that, oh, this my husband loves me so much, that my husband that loves me so much also loves that woman so much and also loves that one so much and also loves the other one so much. These are the unattractive side that I want our young girls to think about. You watch that video, people are saying, why is she wearing shade, you know, sunglasses, indoors? So people felt like she was hiding her eyes because nobody knows what's going on underneath. And people are making videos and saying, you know, she's faking the smile. You can tell that she was not happy to be at the side, you know, just at the side while your husband is there. In front of you with another woman uh, on her birthday she posted the husband bought her this expensive watch well on the, this other wife's birthday the man gave her a gift as well of expensive watch if your husband gave you a gift like he loves me so much look at what he bought me now he loves her so much as well look at what he bought her exact same thing watches what what is going to make you feel special then I'm making this to show you the unattractive side of it. So that when they are showing you the attractive side of the expensive cars, blah, 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 showing you the other side that is unattractive. Because they will only show you those the glittery side. They will not show you the pain and the sorrow they may be going through. Now, I'll show you guys this post because she's in it. She's experienced it. A lot of girls that may be looking at her and wishing they have her life. She may not come out and tell you that um, I'm actually regretting this thing. You know? you know, the money is there, but it's not as rosy as you guys think. She can't tell you that. She can't tell you that. Look at this. There's a post she made. Christmas time, people were talking about her. And um, they said a lot of celebrities, Nigerian celebrities, were posting their, their family Christmas pictures and everything. But Regina Daniels, possibly it was not her day to have the man. She posted a picture of just her and her child. And people were like, your mates are sharing their families, but you can only show your baby because possibly on that day was not your turn to have your husband with you. But read that post. She posted this picture and she said, I think as you grow older, your Christmas list gets shorter because the things you want can't be bought. Did you hear that? Because the things you want can't be bought. I want people to really think about these things. You know, think about this caption. You know, in life sometimes, there are some things they say you learn from maturity. But sometimes there are some things you learn from experience. Okay? 
she has experienced this marrying a rich man thing. She has a, she's experiencing it. She's experienced polygamy. And she made a post like this. So people may not read meaning, but I personally, this is my interpretation. I may be wrong. I'm saying it now. I may be wrong. But I think this is deep. It says, as you grow older, your Christmas list gets shed because the things you want can't be bought. And I'm thinking to myself, could it be that she thought to herself, I want to have a family that is mine. I want a man that I don't have to share. Money can buy me that. Right now, she may have all the money and have all, the, all of that. She is living that rich life and she can make a comment like this. The things you want can't be bought. Listen to that. I really hope some girls can look at this girl and use her as an example to apply to themselves. Money is not everything. If money was everything, why do the rich also cry? Okay. Now, I'll show you guys another post this girl made, right? She made another post with her child. For some time now, there's not been pictures of her and her husband for a while. And then she's losing weight. People don't know. Is she trying to lose weight or is she... Is she emotionally not in a good place? Nobody knows. That's the thing about weight loss. Anyways, I'll show you guys this. She read this and she said, I call him Moon. Okay? She posted a picture of her and her son. And she said, I call him Moon. He is the light in my darkness. Let me tell you guys. You see sometimes, eh? There's experience a small girl we get in life that will make her mature more than her age. There are some kind of suffer you will experience in life. Maturity that will come to your life is because of what you have been through. Okay, now, people that are watching this girl and admiring her, wishing to have her life, I bet they will not imagine that she has a darkness. She said, in my darkness. Which darkness? There are some people that will look at her and be like, her life is so perfect that there cannot be a darkness in her life. But she's saying there that he is the light in her darkness. She get darkness? Would any of you have imagined that she has any darkness? For me, I believe that this is deep as well. Some people may say you're reading too much meaning. I believe that there's a message. There's this hidden message in this kind of posts. Consciously or unconsciously, I feel like this girl is crying out for help. Consciously or unconsciously, I feel like this girl is showing her pain. Consciously or unconsciously, I feel like this is a cry. This is how I see it. Now, he is the light in my darkness. I'm reading that I'm thinking to myself, could it be that she's saying, what have I got myself into? But she has accepted she already made the mistake. And that mistake then is the darkness. But this baby is the light in that darkness. I may have married a man that has several wives. He does not belong to me. But at least this baby is mine. I may have made mistakes, but at least this baby is something to put a smile on my face. That is what I read when I read that. I'm saying this for any young girl watching this. Think twice. I'm saying it. You want to marry a man that is how many years older than you? But if he's widowed or whatever, but not a man that has several other wives. Find your own. Get a man that's going to belong to you and to you alone. Don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth more than this. You're worth more than this. Money is not everything. There's some people like, oh, even a man that married one wife, they go and have a affair. Not all men have affairs. But let me tell you, the fact that the man is even hiding, a lot of men, a lot, not all, a lot of men that have affairs, you know, they look, I can actually make a separate video and discuss that. I can tell you, even if a man is having affairs, there is that thing about, now me be the one. There are a lot of side chicks that will never be wives. I'm not coming here to give, make excuses for men. I'm saying that the fact that you are the one that a man called wife is something to say, yes, I am the one. But when there are several of you that he's openly declaring, I believe that personally, I personally, I will not accept it. I feel like it's disrespectful to a woman. That is how I see it. Even some people say, talk about yourself. If you're telling me you talk about yourself, that means you're new on my channel because I talk about myself too. I talk about myself too. Talking about having affairs. I was living in a separate country. Like I always say, some men cannot stay. When their woman is not around for a long time, a year, two, three, they want to spill their juice. You know what I mean, right? My one, there was a time, I've shared about it before, when he finally confessed everything, he was telling me how he would go to a hotel with her. I was living in a different country. He would go to a hotel with her and I would ring. He would stop whatever he was doing to answer my call. And on that call, he's telling me how much he loves me. And he talked about how the side girl was not happy about those phone calls. You can see her face. She, she'll be frowning. 
She's unhappy. She's nobody knows her. She's operating like a secret agent. I'm not making excuses, but there's still something about when your husband is even sneaking. Then you know what I mean. There is a difference between you are the woman that he's publicly coming out and say that's my woman. But the other woman, the men are using to go and entertain themselves. Even though I'm not going to come here and give him an award for what he did or whatever. But I'm going to be honest and say that, you know, realizing that those times when I'm on the phone with him and we're having this lovely husband and wife conversation, that there was a side chick there that knowing fully well that he's telling his wife how much he loves her. She would have known that she was being used. She would have known that this man's wife is abroad. He's only using it to entertain himself. You know, she knows that I exist. But I did not know she existed. But this other one, you all know that each other exists. That he can boldly keep this one in his arm today and keep you by the side. It's like a, you know, it's like, it's like cars. That when man has several cars. Today, I'm driving the Bentley. He parks the Mercedes somewhere else. And then tomorrow, he's driving the other one and he parks the other car somewhere else. And tomorrow, he picks up the other car and the other car is left somewhere else. That's what it, it looks like. That's what it looks like. Watching that video and seeing this, I said, let me make a video like this for a lot of our young girls that think that money is everything. And like I said, as they make videos to show the glittery side, I have this, look at my, da, 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 da. I'm showing you the other side of it. So before you make this decision, at least know that all that glitters is not gold. Um, and with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.